They didn't mean to hurt you, but they did it anyway. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. Didn't mean to hurt you. Rose colored glasses. Love and light. Be kind to someone who does not deserve it. You were, okay? Now, truthfully, we should be kind to everyone, even if they don't deserve it, right? But I think that this was a situation where you really took the high road. Love and light. That was you. You took the high road. They didn't mean to do it. The rose colored glasses came off. You started to see what was going on. And I think you know this is someone who didn't want to hurt you, and I think that's why you overlooked it for so long. Because really, I think whatever you noticed that when the rose colored glasses came off, I think it was sort of a, a slowly then all at once type of thing. Let me pull some more cards. Not what you think. You are loved. Oh, you will always be the one who got away in financial prosperity. What? Didn't mean to hurt you. They blocked something financially. And you're going to get it back. I don't even know if you know what it was. It's not what you think. Yeah. Okay. What was blocked here isn't what you think. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting energy. This is a very spoiled person. They're always going to think of you this way. They took from you because they were, I'm just getting spoiled, selfish. You were very kind. Seriously, you bent over backward for them. And I think to the point where you just couldn't anymore. You are loved. I mean, I really think this is someone who, if you're in love with this person, if they love you, whether it's, you know, romantically or as a parental figure, whatever it is, Whatever the nature of this relationship is, because it could be many different things. It doesn't have to be, does not have to be romantic for sure. Really, like they, you just had, you took so much from them. You gave them so much, and I think you just couldn't anymore. And everybody has a breaking point. Really, you all, you got away. Look, you jumping over the fence, <laughs> or they, so I'm jumping over the wall. You got away. You know they didn't mean to hurt you. It's because they, I don't think they realized what they were actually doing. I don't think they realized how stupid they were being. Seriously, I'm getting more just like stupid, arrogant. They just cocky. Like they just thought they could get away with this. Peacemaker. Whoa. Okay. Be kind of someone who doesn't deserve it. You have been the peacemaker all along. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But keep going. Keep being the peacemaker. You're doing the right thing. I feel like they're still trying to get to you. Doesn't matter. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. <laughs> Let me see what these three cards say. Another level. <laughs> Your path is getting clearer and held back for reasons beyond my control. See, I think this is what they're thinking. I think there's a whole lot of them trying to play the victim. And that's the energy I get from this. Like, something was beyond their control. I don't think if it's necessarily... I don't know if it's necessarily that they held back. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is. Okay, that goes to the financial prosperity. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. They, they held back money. For reasons beyond their control. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay. I'm gonna. You just let this resonate for you. I'm just getting a very strong, like, somebody who has a gambling addiction or some kind of addiction, drug addiction, I don't know what, but that keeps them, you know, they have to keep getting money from everybody. Robbing Peter to pay Paul constantly. And, look, you did the right thing. You just had to cut this person off to go to the next level. They were holding you back. The next level of your path. Like, this was a very strong test for you. And it's a tough love situation, you know? And if, if, you know what, they might come around. They may eventually say, hey, you know, I know I treated you wrong. And I actually think they're starting to. I think they know that. doesn't matter, though. Oh, you fear nothing. You fear nothing. Two more cards from this deck. But um, I also just, okay, what I'm getting now, looking at these two cards, I'm just getting that your financial prosperity is coming in a form of not what you think. Like, you might be denied something, and think, oh, that's it, you know, I didn't get that job, I didn't get that pay raise, or, you know, my TikTok shop got shut down, or whatever it is, <laughs> something you were really counting on, and now you don't have it. Well, it's, no, not what you think. It's coming in another form. That wasn't your thing. Whatever you thought that thing was, you can get something else back even better. Don't even worry about it. Oh, good. You are thankful for the abundance that always flows your way. You're abundant. Start just being thankful in advance. Be grateful for even for the things you don't have. Call those things that be not as though they are. That's how we get them to come into our life. And you make peace wherever you go. This goes right with that peacemaker card. You're doing the right thing and you know what? You're going to be rewarded. All this stuff. Look, look at these cards. The ones about you are loved. Look, take this to heart. Love and light. You are loved. That's true. That's you loved by your creator. Peacemaker. You make peace wherever you go and be kind to someone who doesn't deserve it. That's why 
blessings are coming your way. And that's probably why this person isn't quite being blessed. They are not thankful for the abundance. This is someone who complains about a lot. Spoiled, selfish, holding you back. Not anymore. You did well. You let them go. Anyway, one last thing. You are thankful for the abundance that always flows your way. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.